The Astros lose back-to-back -back series, well, for the first time in what feels like quite a while, as they dropped two out of three to the Minnesota Twins at Minute Maid Park with this rather tough loss on Sunday. So today, as of when I'm recording this, honestly, dude, this team is kind of back into its funk that they were just in at the start of the season. So we're going to unpack all the positives, unpack all the negatives up next. <laughs> suck again or like what is going on because I mean the Astros had dropped two out of three uh to the to the Minnesota Twins who were coming in playing good baseball like they had won I think eight of their last ten or something like that going into this going into this but at the same time though at the conclusion of this series dude the Astros are let me see real quick they are eight games under 500 they're seven and a half games out of first place three and a half out of second they were three and a half out of first and half a game out of second to place Maybe, maybe about a week ago or so. But now all of a sudden, they're digging themselves back into the hole that they had dug in themselves like into at the start of the season. Like, What's going on? They did score all nine of their runs on, on this series on via home runs. I mean, hitting home runs is nice, but at the same time, like you need to take advantage of scoring opportunities when you get them. But yeah, breaking down in the series game by game here, starting here in the first game, um, the Twins had a game plan of fighting off every single pitch from Ronel, from Ronel Blanco in this game, and it clearly worked because he was tagged. For, he ended up getting tagged for four runs uh, in this game, and he was actually the one quality and he was the one starting pitcher throughout this weekend series who did not throw a quality start, as um, I believe uh, yeah, uh, from Valdez who had fl actually flirted with a no hitter. Uh, in the second game of the series, and also Hunter Brown, who uh, who threw another quality start uh, in this game, but the Astros just couldn't really back him up with run support. So um, the Astros had dropped uh, the series opener of this series, uh, I believe, by a final score of five to two or something like that, if not five to one. But um, but they would eventually bounce back with a five with a five to two victory, with all five of their runs coming on home runs, two of which came on Jordan, it came from Jordan, and one of in the first one of his home runs uh, had gotten the scoring started. Jose Abreu, about an inning or so later, had added on with his very first home run of the season. And I think he's probably going to start turning the corner here pretty soon. I mean, personally, I mean, I don't want to have to DFA him if we don't have to, but, you know, or at least go have some kind of different conversation about him, about what the Ashes will do with him. I'm kind of glad that he's certainly kind of, that he's finding it, that he's uh, starting to find a groove. Obviously, he's still a long ways away for me to consider, for me to give him some flowers on some things. But, I mean, heck. Him hitting a home run for this day and age, like that's a sight for sore eyes if I've ever seen one. So uh, you're on second home run, I believe, would made it make it four nothing, and then Kyle Tucker, his uh, I believe his 18th home run this season, would make it would um would give it would make it five nothing Astros uh, at that point. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that Kyle Tucker is still in the league lead for home runs. If not, he's tied for the league lead or tied for second. I'm not really sure, but um. But the series finale, dude, the Astros were going in needing having to win this game. But Hunter Brown got it. But Hunter Brown got off to a bit of a rocky start as he was tagged for a leadoff home run to, in the very first inning of this game, very first batter to make it by um I don't even know what his name is, but um but the, but the Astros were down by two before a Victor Caratini, Caratini home run it made it two to one Twins, and then after that an Alex Bregman two run blast would give the Astros a three to two lead. Um, and then for the most part, and then the Astros were up by that score going into the, at set by that point until Hunter Brown ended up giving, ended up giving the solo home run to, to the twins to tie the game up and then up came, and then up came Ryan Presley in the eighth inning as you know, again, the game would stay tied as the, as it would become a battle of the bullpens, but Presley just could not hold the, could not hold the tie as he gave up the go-ahead run for the Twins, which would eventually win them the game. What is happening with Presley? Like, he just cannot pitch in these kinds of situations. I mean, he's been, I mean, yes, he has gotten some clean innings here and there, but I don't know what's going on with him. He's, like, he's transitioned from his closer role to his setup role. He is not a setup man at all. Because, I mean, this game really should have at least been tied, or, you know, obviously you can't really blame the punter Brown for you know, giving up a, an extra home run or two and probably would be tied. But, but at the same time, we need to be giving that, we need to be giving Hunter Brown some run support. 
because, I mean, Hunter Brown, despite throwing three quality starts, has no wins to show for it as a pitcher, nor do the Astros actually have wins as a team despite that. I mean, maybe it's just pitcher's luck. I mean, obviously, as a pitcher, you can't really control that. Like, you can't really control how much offense that they give you. Like, I mean, if the offense gives you 10 runs of support, then that's great. But, you know, you can't really ask them to do that every single night. But like I said in my last series recap video, the offense needs to pick it up. Because, I mean, I'm glad that we're hitting home runs and all that. But we need to find more ways to score. Because, I mean, at the same time, if we just keep swinging for the fences and we're going up against pitchers who are not prone to, the, who are not prone to home runs then, I mean, it's just going to be a nightmare for the offense to be getting it together and finding other ways to score. Because, I mean, imagine if the Astros were ho were going up against a pitcher that's similar to Fromber Valdez, who does not give up a lot of fly balls. I mean, he he was, in 2022, he was the pitcher who, was in, who had induced the highest percentage rate of ground balls and also induced the most double plays. Imagine if the Astros were hitting trying to hit home runs off of him. Like I said, we need to be picking it up. Because next up for the Astros, they will be playing host to the St. Louis Cardinals uh, for the first time. And, and, and because for the first time in what feels like maybe a while, honestly, dude. It's been a while since certain national NL teams have come to Houston. With, but with how the new schedule is, um, you know, those National League teams that didn't come to Houston last year are now coming this year. So... You know, that's interesting. And I'm going to be at Monday night's game to see Justin Verlander pitch. So that should be fun. We'll see how that goes. I might have a reaction video for that. Anyway, guys, I'm um, sorry if this sounded more like a rant than a series recap video. These past two series recap videos have been just like that because, you know, again, uh, I mean, I could, I could just, you know, go on and rant on my thoughts of this entire series into one video, I guess. So, <laughs> I mean, it could just be, I mean, this video, these videos could end up being just like that until we get series wins and all that. But, you know, at the same time, dude, the Astros are deep in a hole that they need to try to get themselves out of. Because it's June, and we're still eight games under 500. Usually, by now, this is when the offense is kicking it into gear. I mean, if the pitchers are struggling, then so be it. But the offense needs to be picking it up, like I said, for probably the up-team time. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to watch one of my other videos, click these ones right here above my shoulders. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.